Now that you know how to solve direct proportions, it's time to learn about inverse proportions. An inverse proportion has a different rule. More means less, or less means more. What does this mean? We'll find out by looking at this example. It took 175 minutes to drive to the cottage at 80 kilometers per hour. If we drove 100 kilometers per hour instead, how long would it take? We have 80 kilometers per hour, and then we go faster to 100 kilometers per hour. We have more speed. Does that mean it will take more time? No. If you travel at more speed, it will take less time to get there. That is a more means less situation. It is not a direct proportion. It is an inverse proportion. Let's look at another example. Six people cleaned the schoolyard in three hours. How long would it have taken four people? We have less people. Does that mean it will take less time? No, it will take more time. So this is a less means more situation, and that means it is not a direct proportion, it is an inverse proportion. How do you solve inverse proportions? The first rule is the same. Put the two numbers with the same unit together on the left, smaller on top. Let's try that with example one. We have 80 kilometers per hour and 100 kilometers per hour. Those are the two numbers with the same unit. We put them together on the left, smaller one on top. The third number is 175 minutes. If it was a direct proportion, we'd see 175 goes with 80, so we have to put 175 together with the 80 on the top. But this is where the rule of an inverse proportion is different. The second step, the remaining number is not kept together with one of the first two numbers. Ah, so therefore, the 175 goes with the 80 in the problem, so because it is inverse, we put it on the bottom, so it is not together on top of the 80. Just changing one of the steps. And we put our x in the last remaining place. Let's try it with this problem. The two numbers with the same unit are the people. Six people, four people. We put them together on the left, smaller one on top. Then we look for the other number, and we see three hours goes with six people. So because this is an inverse proportion, we do not put the three on the bottom together with the six. We put it on top instead, and we put x in the last remaining place. Let's solve these questions and see what the answers are. 100x equals 80 times 175. 4x equals 6 times 3. It's time to get out of calculators. 80 times 175 is 14,000. X is therefore equal to 140. It would take 140 minutes to drive to the cottage if you were going at 100 kilometers per hour. And that answer makes sense. 6 times 3 is 18. X is therefore equal to 4.5. It would take 4.5 hours for four people to clean the entire schoolyard. Now it's time to get some practice. Use the exercise sheet to practice inverse proportions, and then use the answer sheet to correct your own work.